Good morning. Morning one and Switzerland is off to a bang. So I'm traveling here with the lover's passport and then Carly and Colin. So far, it is so epic. I'm so excited to be here with this amazing creator squad. Everyone is all about nature and adventure and just loves it so much. We have woken up here. We drove directly through the night to Zermatt. Woke up, the first thing I saw this morning is the freaking Matterhorn. Oh, magic. We're waiting here with a bunch of other photographers already lined up. The sun hasn't even come up yet, but we're gonna catch sunrise on the Matterhorn. The sun is starting to come slowly. The colors are changing. Look at that. It's very crowded here. Okay, you guys, we have finished up sunrise and I wanted to introduce you to the Lovers Passport right here if you don't know them already. This is Giselle Hello. and Steven. Bonjour. They planned the entire trip, so any trip planning questions, go to them. But I'll probably be releasing some sort of blog or guide. Yes, but I'm gonna document all the adventures. For now, we have our morning tea and we're gonna go on our first hike later. Cheers! Mm -hmm. Don't drive in Zermatt. <laughs> oh, and here we have Colin and Carly. Hi guys! Hello. Yay. We're about to head out on the Five Lakes hike and so far they have like heated drinking water and like these screens that give you all the information on all the things. All the things. All the things. So impressed. Beautiful. Avalanche zero. Oh, <laughs> That's great. Perfect. <laughs> My God, look at this. Look at this. This is surreal. It was literally like a 10, 15 minute walk. Very well maintained. And then this view. Wow. Okay, so it's 9.30 now. And literally, I think it's like 30, 40 minutes after we've arrived. And it is packed now, as you can see. So it's definitely worth getting here very early. This is still the first lake. It's apparently the most beautiful lake on this hike and it's just iconic. The reflection when there's no wind is stunning, but get here early because it gets packed. before sunrise this morning, took two trains and came all the way up into the mountains for this epic view of the Matterhorn. With this lake right here, the reflection is literally perfect. Look at this. So we have got all forms of content creation going on right now. We've got a couple drones up, cameras. We've got, oh my gosh, what is that? It's an extender you plug into your like flash Ooh. and so you can get BTS of your photos. Oh cool! <laughs> yeah. Amazing. So not only is this spot insanely beautiful, but the lover's passport just got engaged right here. So it's extra extra special and it's probably the best captured proposal ever because we had all forms of content back here. <laughs> 
<laughs> we captured all of it between drone, camera, vertical, horizontal, all of it. It's such a special spot. So, so beautiful. And congratulations, lover's passport. Woo! Here they are, Giselle and Steven. Giselle, how do you feel? Uh, I don't even know. There's no <laughs> words, dude. <laughs> I'm a butterfly. Oh, it was perfect. It was literally perfect. Steven, who are you? <laughs> I assume we're <relief> <laughs> and the mountains here are epic. They have these little ticket offices everywhere. Okay, thank you. I found a Pokemon card. Yes. So it is the <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. going hiking now to a super blue water lake and I believe we're about we're allowed to jump into it which is very exciting because that's what always makes me feel like I've arrived to a new country when I can jump into a body of water so I'm very excited to go into this alpine lake in Switzerland <laughs> We are going into the tunnel for the hike. <laughs> so we are out here hiking in Switzerland. And these views, I swear these mountains are the craziest, most striking, incredible mountains I've ever seen. It's truly magnificent. How are you doing Giselle? <laughs> Woo! So we have made it to the top. The sign said it would be a hour and a half hike. We made it up in 45 minutes and this is the view. It is truly epic. That lake is incredible. It's just stunning from all angles. You're literally in a fishbowl of mountains all around you and these Swiss Alps are just unlike any mountains I've seen before. It is truly incredible. This water here you can also swim in, but it's super blue if you come probably around midday. So around noon when the sun shines directly into blue water is when it's super, super blue. But as we started to hike even further up, it got bluer and bluer. It's stunning. We're here for sunset. We have made it to Lauterbrunnen and we are adventuring around the town. Literally everywhere looks like a storybook. It's so beautiful. There's this main waterfall right here. It's sort of dry now, but it's just stunning all around. It literally makes you feel like you're in a magical storybook, just wandering all around, taking beautiful photos. I love it here. <laughs> Where are you? 
What blows my mind about a lot of the hikes here in Switzerland is that you can literally just gondola up and up and up. So we took a series of three gondolas to get up here and it's just like wild. We are up in the mountains. So Switzerland is definitely one of the most expensive countries I've ever been to. I think it's actually the most expensive country in the world. But when you come here, you can truly see where all of the money is going to. Like all of the gondola rides have been around 50 to 80 Swiss franc per person, but it's all so clean, so streamlined, super organized. And then the mountains here are so, I keep saying striking because it's like, it's not like mountains anywhere else. It's just land and then boom, massive mountain goes up and it's all so accessible. I mean, there are epic hikes that you can do, but you can also just gondola up to places like this that will leave you breathless leave you in awe and you can hear the sounds in the background there are sheep just walking all around it's truly so so stunning Switzerland I'm so grateful to be here so strongly recommend it it is worth every single bit that you pay to get here I had them <laughs> sorry no you're good you're good these views straight up remind me of Kauai like these jagged cliffs and everything it's just and then it drops into this massive valley and then right behind it you have these like glacier capped mountain peaks that are even somehow more dramatic switzerland is just constantly leaving me in awe it is so insanely amazing nikki Woo! It's unreal. <laughs> i'm over here like thinking about it i'm like yeah she's very right <laughs> so nuts i love it i love it so rad Push. whoa yeah. behind the camera <laughs> Mike, I'm taking the longest video ever. He's gonna have to cut it all up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a great, what a great piece of equipment. Hello. <laughs> Hiking at 8,000 feet. Be like, can't breathe. The air is thin, but it's amazing. We're about to go canyon swinging here in Switzerland. We're about we to doing? die. <laughs> we're, we're, not, we're not about to go canyon swinging, we're about to die. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling those like butterfly feelings, like the little like. <laughs> yeah, it's like definitely leveling up. Like I'm yeah. like, no, what is going on? I know, I know. So, oh, here we go. Let's send it. <laughs> we are about to go canyon swinging right up there. I'm terrified. I love skydiving. I think bungee jumping is stupid scary, <laughs> but Giselle likes it. I love it. <laughs> She's gonna do great. Oh, here oh, we go. <laughs> Canyon swing. Ooh. They actually take us up in helicopter, so that's my ride, you guys. I'm gonna jump off the helicopter. <laughs> here we go. We're going into the valley. Feeling good now. Feeling excited. <laughs> Real. I don't know if I'm excited yet, but might be excited afterwards. Woo! So everything's being set up right now. We're getting ready to jump off that to that fork right there. Your <laughs> face <laughs> Eight of us. Oh it's fine. We're fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm not ready. What's your name? Mana. Where are you from? United States. Cool. Hopefully you're not gonna lose the camera. Oh, no, it's new. Three, ah! two, ah! one. Ah!
experience, the whole adventure. So we have made it up here to Schaefer. This is literally the one spot that was like at the top of my Switzerland bucket list that I was like, oh my gosh, once I see this view, it just looks so surreal. We got here and almost all of us at once, we were just like jaws on the floor. The view is just so striking. The mountains are unlike anything I've seen before. This is what I pictured the Dolomites to look like. And this is just out here in Switzerland. It's so beautiful. There's a tiny little ridge you can walk by to get to the front of it and it's, it honestly only took us like 45 minutes to get up here after the gondola so 10 out of 10 recommend coolest spot i've seen in switzerland so far it is so beautiful So another day, another hike. We have just made it up here to Drift Bridge. You can see the suspension bridge in the background. It's definitely, I think, the longest suspension bridge I've ever seen in my life. We hiked for probably an hour, hour and a half, um, pretty gradual, like straight up at the beginning and then pretty gradual. But you get up here, you have this epic lake and the whole like beginning of the hikes here are basically gondolas. So you take a gondola, you hike a bit, and then you have an epic view but basically everywhere in Switzerland is just striking, incredible. Like on the drive here, there are a bunch of beautiful lakes all along the sides of the roads. The mountain roads are very windy, so if you get motion sickness, be sure to bring all of your motion sickness things. Um, and then, yeah, soak in the views. Ha <laughs> ha 